For more than two decades, Hong Kong has lagged behind its neighbors like Taiwan, South Korea and Japan when it comes to effectively handling its waste. It was only in 2021 that the city's legislature passed a law to implement a waste charging scheme, which experts say is key to reducing rubbish and increasing recycling. Hong Kongers generated nearly 6 million tons of solid waste in 2019. Of that, only 29% was recycled. So what does Hong Kong do with this mountain of waste? More than 15,600 tons of solid waste end up in landfills each day in Hong Kong. That's equivalent to the total combined weight of 1,043 double-decked buses. Hong Kongers already produce more waste per person compared with cities like Tokyo, Seoul and Taipei. And local environmental groups warn the figure could rise further because of the increased use of disposables during the COVID-19 pandemic. So with the amount of rubbish growing every day, where does it all go? Hong Kong's rubbish ends up in three key disposal sites in the new territories, covering a total area of over 300 hectares. But these landfills, which began operating in the 1990s, are nearly full. In fact, Hong Kong has already filled up 13 landfills. What then are some potential solutions? One answer might be to expand the existing landfills to increase capacity. The government is already in the advanced planning stages to extend the Southeast New Territories landfill to receive more construction waste in late 2021. There are also plans to expand the other two landfills to extend their use beyond 2030. Another alternative is waste incineration, which Hong Kong used to do from the 1960s. Hong Kong's four waste incineration plants were closed down in the mid-1990s. Public pressure forced the government to build land-based disposal facilities to replace incinerators, which had also reached maximum capacity. In 2009, however, the government revisited the incineration option with the development of new generation incinerators, which are said to be less polluting. Today, the government is building a 31 billion Hong Kong dollar waste incinerator which would also generate electricity on Sheku Chow, south of Lantau Island. It was initially scheduled for completion in 2022, but has been delayed to 2024. There are also plans to build a new incinerator in Hong Kong by 2030. In its Waste Blueprint for Hong Kong 2035, published in early 2021, Hong Kong Secretary for the Environment Wong Kam Sing said the city would end its reliance on landfills in about 15 years by developing adequate waste-to-energy facilities. Plastics make up the third largest constituent among Hong Kong's total municipal solid waste and often take hundreds of years to decompose. The government has taken steps to reduce plastic use. It has promoted reusable shopping bags by introducing a plastic bag charging scheme in 2015. Shops are required to charge customers at least 50 Hong Kong cents for each plastic bag. Some local companies are also seeking greener alternatives by promoting water-soluble bags that dissolve in water above 80 degrees Celsius. It's a combination of polyvinyl alcohol base, but then it's like plant-based starch, glycerin and water. This water-soluble bag is not new in the market but we want to commercialize it and push it in the market and make more people realize that we have a choice. The government will also ban disposable plastics in restaurants starting from 2025. Under a proposal announced in mid-2021, the city will initially ban the sale and use of disposable expanded polystyrene tableware, and food establishments will not be allowed to offer throwaway tableware or single-use plastic straws and stirrers. Restaurants will also not be allowed to provide dining customers with disposable plastic cups, cup lids or food containers, with the ban on these items to be extended to takeaway surfaces in the second phase. Officials hope the long-delayed municipal solid waste charging scheme will help achieve Hong Kong's waste reduction targets. Under the scheme, residents will have to dispose of their trash in government-mandated bags which costs one Hong Kong dollar 10 cents for each 10 liter bag. An average household could pay up to 55 Hong Kong dollars each month to discard its trash. Commercial and industrial buildings using private collection services will pay a landfill gate fee based on the weight of rubbish they produce, 
set up to 395 Hong Kong dollars per ton. The plan is now slated to be implemented in the second half of 2023, after the legislation passed in August 2021, some 16 years after the scheme was first proposed. While authorities have pledged to increase funding for recycling to 1 billion Hong Kong dollars in 2023, the city's recycling has been flagging in recent years, from more than 50% in 2010 to just less than 30% in 2019. Theoretically, all things is recyclables, but in reality, it is really hard. It is a bit violates uh, the customer behavior in Hong Kong or what they want to promote in Hong Kong. They want to promote its convenience, fast, and you purchase more, you gain more, you enjoy more. We also think about, do Hong Kong have enough space or enough technology to deal with various mat materials? I think it's costly. We have to invest so much human resources and facilities. Instead of dealing with waste already generated, a smarter move may be to reduce the amount of waste before it's created. Some people choose to adopt an environmentally friendly lifestyle by opting for zero packaging, eco-friendly alternatives and recycling. These practices promote wiser use of our resources, helping to create a more sustainable Hong Kong.